Hello guys. Welcome back to CSI. This should be our last case of the game, which is exciting to conclude it and sad that it's over. But let's jump right into Lita Swan Song. We haven't heard from Grissom since he went out to Desert Gardens. His cell phone's down, he hasn't checked in. Gil can be eccentric, but frankly, this has me worried. On top of which, Lita Callisto has been making some oddball remarks about Grissom to the guards at the jail. You helped nail Lita, so this is your case. Yours and Catherine's. She's got the tenure and experience you can lean on. Now, either start with the Desert Gardens or go to Lita's apartment. We need to find out more about the enigmatic Miss Callisto, and we need to find Gil Grissom, period. Okay. What can you tell us about Lita? We've run her, found no priors, not even a damn speeding ticket. Check her apartment. Maybe you'll come up with more than we did. Have you taken a set of Lita's prints? For what little good it did, yes. She's recently used an acid-based compound to burn off the core ridge details of her fingers. No unique scarring, either. Best we got out of her is partial, so naturally Aphis spit him back out as unknown. Um, has Lita said anything that might help us? She keeps dropping cute, oblique hints that don't add up to anything much, just enough to amuse herself. My gut says, that witch knows plenty. Okay, uh, so we have the Lita herself in her holding cell, Lita's home, and the gardens. I think we should go to the gardens because that's where he was last seen. Catherine Willows, Las Vegas Crime Lab. My associate was out here earlier, you'll recall. We're continuing our investigation and we have some questions. Who knows, maybe I'll have some answers. Yeah, who knows? Uh, where is the new evidence you called us to look at? What evidence? I didn't call anybody. I sure didn't call the cops. A call wasn't placed from here to our crime lab less than a half an hour ago. Lady, our staff went home after you people wrapped up that other investigation. I'm the only one still working. You're looking at the only night crawler left in this garden. Interesting. Has there been any activity around here lately? No, been real quiet. A few drive throughs few pedestrians strolling by. Nothing unusual. Did you see anyone that looked like Grissom? No, ma'am. You know, once it starts getting dark, you don't get a very good look at people come around here. Sometimes you don't want to. <laughs> Do you have anything else to tell us? Afraid not. Wish I could have helped you out some more. Okay. Let's see if anything new has been added around here that might give us a lead on what happened to Gil. Yeah, let's... What's that? Ground's a little soft here. Wet. Underground sprinklers must have come on recently. Well, let's cast those. Well, I still can't get in here because she's covering it. Grissom would be right at home with these creepy crawlies. Yeah, he would. He loves the little crawlies. Bugs, bugs, and more bugs. New tire treads. These look like fresh tire tracks to you. Wide, like a truck's. And Lita used a truck before. Well, let's cast those. Notice how the tread's been compromised? Whoever peeled out of here must have been in a hurry. Loose dirt was thrown back over their own tread marks. Okay. Got an impact here. Oh no, we definitely need to get... Can we just pick it up as it is? We can't use that here. Okay. 
Let's get closer. Tiny traces of paint based on height and proximity to the road. Vehicle impact, wouldn't you say? Most definitely. Okay. The other tire trucks are gone. I'm gonna double check. Okay, nothing new. Let's see if he has something new to say. That's all I know. Wish I could help more. Just not. Let's take all this stuff to Greg. We got a code red, Greg. Grissom's gone missing, possibly abducted. Okay, Kath. Everything else goes on the back burner. I won't be happy till Grissom's standing there humiliating me again. Okay, then. I'll have his bug. Even Gil Grissom would keep his distance from these bugs. What we have here is a blowfly larva with a taste for living flesh. Cochleomia hominivorax, the human eater. Dangerous? The 150 or so people killed by him over the years would say so. But these things are uncommon. Eradicated in the States back in the 50s, though you can still turn them up in Mexico and points farther south. Anybody studying or researching them around here you know of? Not in Vegas, nowhere recently. University of Nebraska a couple years back did some cryopreservation research. See how long you could freeze the larva without killing them. Not what I'd keep in the kitchen freezer. Ew. Can I look at it? They're even better looking when you get close. Ah, uh, no. Can have the paint. Automobile paint, fairly common color, particularly on current truck series. Lita used Dr. Wilkinson's truck in the Sofia Benedetti case. I'm sure that's no coincidence. No, we'll have to talk to Brass about that, I think. Size 10, Gill's size, and it matches his brand. Good bet these are his footprints. Yeah. Nothing definitive. We need a better comparison. But this is the same results we had in our last case. Yeah, we definitely need to talk to Brass. What can I do for you? Yeah, can you retrieve that tread evidence from Wilkinson's truck? Sure, I'll get you the prints from the garage you lifted. Those look like the best ones. Okay, let's go back to the lab, compare it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm not talking to you. So let's compare this one, which is the Wilkinson's truck and the one at the gardens. Okay, now we have a match. Wilkinson's truck made a return trip to the scene of the crime. Uh, we should probably do this again. Yeah, oh, because it wasn't fully done. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely want the truck. What can I do for you? I want the truck. <laughs> can we have a warrant to examine Dr. Wilkinson's truck again? Treads match, huh? Good enough for me. Go. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I want that right away. Dr. Wilkinson, I'm Catherine Willows, CSI. We're picking up on the previous investigation and need to ask you a few more questions. I thought you people were holding Lita Callisto for Sophia's murder. We are, sir. And we're sorry for the trouble we've caused you. Oh, well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? You throw my life into turmoil and you tarnish my professional reputation. Why wouldn't I be thrilled to help you people out any way I can? Dr. Wilkinson, we have reason to believe Lita Callisto has committed other crimes, perhaps other murders, and we do need your cooperation. Well, all right. Anything to help keep that lunatic female locked away. Where have you been for the last few hours? Being torn various new gaping bloody orifices by my wife, thanks to you people. <laughs> We're 
it's not thanks to us. You did it. We didn't. Uh, where's your truck? Still in my garage, isn't it? Do you need to look at it? I'll walk you back there. Anything is better than staying in the path of my wife's tongue. Jeez. Well, what? Honestly, it was here. You had no idea it was missing? If I'd known, I'd have reported it stolen. Uh, do you think your wife might have taken it? Couldn't have. We've been together, and anyway, she can't drive stick. Didn't she tell you that? Sometimes people's stories change. Well, she definitely told us. Okay, so we looked at all the evidence. Now let's talk to Lita, because she's the one that kept doing all this stuff. Saying weird things. Ah, uh, it's the geniuses of CSI. Missing something? Mislay someone? Please, let me know what I can do to be of assistance. It's too bad you're not serious, because that might help your situation. I'm enjoying my situation. I'm content in my own company, and my needs are simple. And as for entertainment, I can picture your frantic efforts to recover your fearless leader. That's quite sufficient to pleasantly pass the time. You may not have that much. Nevada has the death penalty. You might consider cooperating. Jeez, she's a complete lunatic. Why are you doing all this? You know, I could tell you, but I have far too much consideration for your position. You see, if people like me just went around admitting things, you'd be out of a job. What'd you do with Grissom? Well, I didn't kill him. Yet. Wouldn't it be interesting, though, if you could sit in a cell like this and still murder someone miles away? Wow, she's completely lost her marbles. Why did you kill Sophia? I would never spoil the theory you worked so hard to develop. It's like when a child does a finger painting, you don't point out the deficiencies. It's unkind. I have no words. Uh, now this time, let's go check out her home. Whoa, lot of stuff in here. Let's get started. Yeah, let's. Cap shut tight on a bottle of unidentified liquid. Can we print it? There's no prints here. Guess not. Casino chips. Didn't Sophia have a couple of these stuffed in her mouth? She did. Old photo album. A story of somebody's life. Uh, those are prints. Set of prints. Old album like this. Could have been here a while. Yeah. Looks like something used to be under here. Traces of the image bled onto the laminate. Newspaper clipping, maybe. Greg should be able to analyze this. Maybe even enhance the image. Yeah, like it did in the cop thing. Can we pick up the entire thing? No. Would appear Lita was rather selectively getting rid of certain papers. One looks like a car key, but the other just can't be sure. Some worn down markings on it, but can't make out what it said. There's no prints here. Okay. Not much left here. Wonder if there's anything it can still tell us. You mean like prints? Or we're gonna have to use the other one. Oh. Nice. Set of prints on it. 
only they don't seem to be very complete. Cares, Prince of Prince. Date and page number are still visible. Maybe we can locate the original article. Maybe. Burned badly. Can't make out anything it said. Is this one a prince too? There's no prince here. No. Yeah. Can't pick this up. Whoa. A bit too easy if she just randomly had his shoes, no? Greasy substance smeared here. Got kind of a medicinal smell, wouldn't you say? Well, we can definitely not get this prince, but we can find out what it is. Uh... Broken spine indicates a favorite passage, or at least a stopping point, by the reader. It's a passage about the Greek tradition of burying loved ones with a silver coin in the mouth. Payment for the ferryman. Hear that before? Yeah. Definitely heard that before. We can't use that here. And we can't take it. Of course we can't. No, we just can't. Okay. That's everything. Let's go to Greg with all the evidence. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Medicated skin cream, calcium gluconate gel, topical antidote to treat hydrofluoric acid burns. Like someone with access to a pharmacy. Yeah, just like that. Okay, it's newsprint, and the date and page number are visible. You'll need to do a Lexus search for the article. Okay, we'll search that when we do the prints. By stabilizing the charred remains of the document with the pyrrolene polymer treatment, I could run latent lithing processes on it without destroying the ashes. It's an apparent suicide note, and get this, written on Champagne Hotel stationery. Champagne Hotel? As in the Yardstrom case, Grissom work? None other. Brass needs to know about this. He does. Are we just like co connecting all the cases now? Lucky for you, you didn't open this up and catch a whiff. Chloroform. Enough missing to knock somebody out? Absolutely. Once inhaled, the chemical enters the bloodstream through the lungs, unaltered by the liver. Reaches the brain in seconds, and it's sleepy time. Okay. How about a workable theory about what's become of Gil? Well, after Lita was questioned at the pharmacy, Grissom got his invite out to the gardens. Right. So even in the first interview, Lita figured we were on to her. Pretending to work at the gardens, she calls Gil, reports new evidence to perk his interest. She borrows Wilkinson's truck, lays in some of these flesh-eating bugs, and parks in the gardens waits out of sight when Gil arrives he spots the truck checks it out spots the insects and has a typically grissom closer look Lita dressed like a worker maybe chloroforms him from behind there's a struggle a few bugs get jostled from the truck Lita holds her rag over Gil's face till he's out what do you need okay Casino chips. Nothing special about them. That's the answer I wanted. The laminate bore traces of newspaper ink, transferred from the article that used to be underneath it. I enhanced the image and found a wedding photo. And guess who is the blushing bride? Lita. Oh yeah, our Looney Tunes killer, on her way to her honeymoon. Somebody was a lucky guy, huh? No man was living in that apartment, so we can assume a breakup. But Callisto may be Lita's married name. So I need her maiden name. Well, this key could be from a number of trucks, including an L160. 
Yep. The markings on the key were worn down, but I enhanced them. Here's the lucky number. 10072. Alright. Let's go check out the prints. Good news is we got a complete set of prints on the photo album. Bad news is no hits on the APHIS database. Okay. The other prints? Partials. Damn. No match to anything in the database either. I love how it looks like it's just cut in half. Let's compare the partial with the full. Now, these partials are consistent in key areas with the photo album prints. We may have Lita's pre-acid bath fingerprints here. That would be nice. And then the, uh, document. Oh, now this is something. Subject of the original article, Sophia Benedetti. Charged with possession of controlled substances a few years back, but we found no record on her before. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk to Brass. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah. Can you find out Lita's maiden name? Well, she doesn't have a Nevada wedding certificate, but I can do some out-of-state digging. Gutter. Murphy. Lita Murphy. Most people come to Vegas to get hitched. She left to do the job. Can you do a search on the last name Murphy? Oh god, that's so common. Come on. Why not ask me to search all the Jones, Smiths, and Johnsons, too? Get a little more specific and maybe I can help you. <laughs> yeah. Can you get us a warrant to reopen the Champagne Hotel location? All you have is that suicide note on hotel stationery. Sorry, that's just too thin. What I can do is let you look at some of the evidence from the Yardstrom and Benedetti cases. Here's the murder weapon, the ligature. Maybe there's something more to learn. Aphis came up blank on these partials from the medicine bottle in Kylie's apartment. Here's the casino chips we found in Sophia's mouth. That Greek money angle may make them significant. Here's the money we found in Kylie's mouth. Too many overlapping prints for us to get anything useful. That's enough to get you started anyway. Build a stronger link to Lita, and I'll get that hotel reopened for you. But I... the truck? That's all I have for you right now. Is that it? I just needed to ask him in the garage, not his house. Okay. Could Lita have taken it? Lita. Crazy damn. Yes. Yes, she could have. She must have come back for it again. Thank you, Dr. Wilkinson. We do appreciate your cooperation. We'll take it from here. Okay. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Shut up. Yes? Okay. We should have some new evidence now. The ligature has traces of that same cream from Lita's apartment calcium gluconate gel with heavy aloe vera that cream was not over the counter it was homemade this may get us back into that hotel it may these chips match the type you turned up at Lita's crib yep and the chicks them all out and then the money I ran a bunch of different tests didn't come up with anything sorry guys Okay, now let's compare this with the uh, full print. The fingerprints on the medicine bottle match the ones on the photo album, so Lita dispensed these meds to Kylie before giving her fingertips the acid treatment. Yep. Okay. That. It's all the evidence except the uh, smaller key. I kind of want to talk to her again. 
<laughs> Did you chloroform Grissom and take him somewhere and Wilkinson struck? <laughs> How would that be possible? Gil Grissom is so brilliant. One of the top CSIs in the nation. Surely a mere slip of a thing like myself couldn't trap him using a few bugs as bait and reel him in. Not a big fish like Gilman. Okay. Did you know Kylie Yardstrom? Carrie who? Maybe you're thinking of Karen. Karen Yardstrom? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. It's your IQ. Jeez. Yes? Can you get us a warrant to reopen the Kylie Yardstrom case? Prints on Lita's photo album match those on Kylie's medicine bottle, and Lita's medicinal cream is on the murder weapon. Yeah, that'll fly. I know a judge who'll give us the warrant we need. Oh, that gave us... But I still want the truck. Why can I not get the truck? Like... That's all I have for you right now. I have nothing more to say to you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go check the hotel room. Back again. More trouble, or you want info on my weekend package? This is my first time to your lovely establishment. Catherine Willow's criminalist, Vegas Crime Lab. Well, it's not the first time for your partner there. By sport, we kind of bonded. When I was getting pelted with questions about that Kylie brought getting bumped. Yes, well, that's very touching. Great. Did anyone else come or go from the room on the night Kylie was killed? What is this? A recurring nightmare? Read my lips. Only person I saw was Kylie. Did Kylie always try to use a particular room? She stuck with the same room. It was the guys that was always different. Do you have anything else to tell us? This some kind of joke? One of them hidden camera shows? Look, I told you everything I know already. Now, if you don't mind. Jeez. So, Kylie used this room all the time, and the manager says he didn't see anyone come out the door, but doors aren't the only way you can get into a room. That's true. There are windows. It's weird to have this, and there's just nothing in here. And a purse is still here. Okay. Check out the fire escape. A Juliet could let a lot of Romeos in that way. <laughs> it's also a great peeping Tom perch. Could somebody have seen what went down in this room? Hmm. Do you see this? Someone hanging out on the fire escape, then entering the room might have put their hands down right here. Okay, let's swap that. Because I really doubt you get fingerprints of this. There's no prints here. Exactly. Uh, so strange. Nothing has been cleaned up. Remote still on the floor. Purse still here. Super strange. You got nothing more for you at the moment. Okay. Let's take that to Greg. Yes? It's our ever popular calcium gluconate and aloe vera mix. Which puts Lita on the fire escape at some point, and also puts her in the hotel room via that entry. Obviously, Lita and Kylie are acquainted. Lita learns Kylie's going to the hotel, to her favorite room, which Lita stakes out from the fire escape landing. Lita waits for the couple to finish their fun. She doesn't even bother with gloves. Look, Ma, no fingertips. Devin exits. Kylie heads into the bathroom. Lita climbs in, tears the cloth, getting some of that custom hand cream on it in the process. Kylie comes out of the bathroom. Her friend Lita jumps her, wraps the ligature around her neck, and strangles her onto the bed. But why? 
With Kylie dead, Lita stages the scene, tying up the corpse, blindfolding her, leaving the way she got in. Fire escape. That's how it could have happened. But why did it happen? What's Lita's motive? Good question. Uh, super apartment now. All right. Let's see if there's anything that was overlooked. Like, there's nothing new. Well, she said overlooked, so... Let's try her computer. Yeah, I would love to. Let's look at these appointments in terms of the evidence we've already gathered. There's a Murphy here. Lita's maiden name, Bernard Murphy. We need to check it. Let's take a printout. Okay. Well, that seems to be the only new evidence in here. Yes? Sorry, can't do anything with that. Okay, let's search it then. We'll give it to Brass. It works too. No match. But all that means is that Bernard Murphy didn't have a criminal record. True. Uh... Need me for something? Can you do a search on Bernard Murphy? I'll give it a shot. Well, Bernard Murphy worked at the Washoe County Crime Lab some years back. Interesting. What can you tell us about Bernard Murphy? Let's bring his file and see. Dismissed a few years ago for breaking evidentiary collection procedures. Whoa, his dismissal involved a drug raid at Sophia Benedetti's home. And, oh, man. Guess who was called as a procedural expert at Murphy's disciplinary hearing? Gil Grissom. Is this just a grudge thing? Where is Bernie... Bernie? Where is Bernard Murphy today? I can see if there's any record of him. Holy... Bernard Murphy committed suicide last week. Oh, that's more than just a coincidence. Uh, can you issue an APB on Wilkinson's truck? I'll send out an APB right now. Maybe somebody will spot it, and it'll lead us to Gill. Good. Uh, so, out of all the evidence we have, we have about the key. That seems to be the only thing. So let's talk to her again. Do you want to talk about your father, Bernard Murphy? What a triumph for you to have figured that out. And it only took you forever. Want to tell us why your father was fired from CSI? Well, isn't that obvious, considering present company, because of the incompetence of this place and its subpar staff? From what we hear, it was your father's incompetence that got him dismissed. My father was a brilliant man, a dedicated, underappreciated investigator who misguidedly gave his life to this job. And look at the competence of his peers. Sad. It's just sad. Really? Then what was the real reason for his dismissal? Politics, corruption, the well-connected Mr. Benedetti. He wanted his daughter to walk, so he paid some of Vegas's finest to tamper with the evidence. Got the case thrown out. In the process, my father was framed into taking the fall. I can assure you this department would thoroughly look into such a thing. Your precious Grissom was there. Did he look into it? He has no feel, no feelings for the human species. We're less than bugs to him, literally. And no one wanted to stand up to Benedetti. That left my father to take the blame. Wow. What can you tell us about your father's suicide? My father was everything to me. The only one who understood me. The only person on this earth I was ever close to. And now he's gone. Forever. Job well done, CSI. 
He took his own life. And it was not over the job he lost, but the woman he lost. If the people around him here at CSI had stood up for him, given him the benefit of the doubt, he wouldn't be driven into the arms of that showgirl slut. He'd be alive today showing all of you how to do this job. Did you kill Sophia because her arrest led to your father's firing? I lost my father because Benedetti's daughter was a crack addict and Papa was covering up for baby. My father took the fall for that poor little rich junkie. And that's why you killed her? I don't remember saying I killed her. I will point out that the scales of justice have achieved a certain ironic balance. I lost my father. Benedetti lost his daughter. Jeez. Thanks to that APB on Wilkinson's truck, a patrol officer spotted a vehicle of that description heading into a U-Keep self-storage lot. But that's several hundred storage rooms, and I can only get a warrant for one specific room. Okay. What role did Grissom play in Bernard Murphy's dismissal? I'm ahead of you on this one. Grissom believed the evidence might have been tampered with and went on record as to Murphy's possible innocence. But the mayor at that time buried Grissom's report most likely due to the Benedetti family's influence. Oh, I'm gonna shove that in her face. Did you know that Grissom filed a report about your father's possible innocence? You can lie and try to manipulate the truth all you want. Gil Grissom sold my father out. The biggest irony of all, if a CSI of my father's abilities were here, he'd find Grissom. Maybe you'll find him too. Someday. Not case. What can I do for you? Can you check with locker matches key number one zero zero seven two? I can give the company a call. They do have a locker registered to that key number, but it might just be a coincidence. It's unit four seventeen. Let's hope your theory is correct. Does that mean we have a warrant now, or no? Gate's locked. Can't force entry without a warrant, so we have to find a link between Lita and these lockers, and fast. We can try the key we found in Lita's apartment. If it's a locker key, maybe it'll also open the front gate. Ah, no warrants. We need some warrant when you have a key. There it is, over there, Unit 417. This could be it. Let's try the key on it. It's jammed. Hey. Hey. I'm in here. Did you hear that? There's someone inside. It's got to be Grissom. Let's find something to pry the door open with. Yeah, lots. Did you also did you hear the sound of the bugs? It's like this super wet sound. This might be good to get some leverage on the door. Uh, okay. We'll still need something else from around here to use this with. Yeah. Oh, well. We can use this as a fulcrum. Let's take it. <laughs> Great. We can use these to pry the door open now. It's evidence. Those bugs, the flesh eaters, they're all over him. Kath? Ka Catherine? Gil, we're here. Everything's all right. Lita, the, uh, the Benedetti case. Murphy was fired because... I know, Gil. For once, I'm way ahead of you. You saved my life. I had help. Our newbie here came through big time. Sure did. I think, uh, maybe we can declare your probation period over. Yay! Well, you could say we worked the bugs out. And now we'll be going to the hospital, Mr. Grissom. We're gonna check you out like the walking crime scene you are. It's time for your evaluation. I've spoken to your fellow CSIs. Sarah, Nick, Warwick, Catherine all give you high marks. Greg and Doc Robbins are also impressed. Devin Rogers is a free man now, cleared of any involvement in the Kylie Yardstrom killing. 
As for me, well, let's say I'm glad you were on the Callisto case. Yes, Jim. Yes. Really? I'll be right there. It never ends. Good work. Only a few things you left unexamined. Try to be more thorough next time. Now you've finished all the cases, but there's one more set of bonus material if you can go back and complete them all with 100%. Well, I did collect all the evidence. Let's look at this. Catherine Willis. Gil Grissom. Lita. Greg. Desert Demonstration Gardens. Pharmacy. So... Now that this is done, I wanted to check if I got all the evidence, because I think I touched this very briefly in the last case. I collected all the evidence, but I didn't... It, it's so strange, because when I collect all the evidence, I go to the lab, right? And I go through all the evidence. And then I move on to the next step, which is talk to brass or whatever next step is. But apparently, in this case, you needed to just check out the one piece of evidence. Only one of those you picked up. And then go talk about it with someone else. And then you go back and check the rest of them. So, which is really frustrating because technically I've done everything correctly. I have just did, didn't do everything in the exact right order. But, yeah. So, like you also heard, there is a set of bonus material. If you get all cases to 100%, I'm not going to go back and do that. Because, quite frankly, I just don't want to do this case again. Uh, maybe at some point I will. But, I don't think that's worth my time. Uh, but we solved the case. And it's interesting how uh, in and out and more fun than a barrel of corpses and lead a swan song tied together. It's an interesting take on it. But yeah, that concludes this game. Next up, I think uh, we might look at some of the other CSI games. They're obviously also going to be old, so... Yeah. But this was fun. Uh... That's just all. It was just fun to do this, even though I didn't get the last 100%. Still very enjoyable. And we got the case solved, so that's all that matters. I'm, I'm, I, I say this again, it's kind of sad that it's over, but I'm glad we completed it. So yeah. I think the next game in the um, series is CSI Dark Motives, which I'm also going to do, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, this was very enjoyable, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too, even though it's really old. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>